recently I was flipping through an old Salamta magazine and run into a story titled The Legacy of the Brown Condor of Ethiopia by Philip Thomas Tucker. As I was reading the story, my eyes kept tearing up and I immediately thought I would have to let others know about this African American, a true friend of Ethiopia. I had always wondered who Ethiopian Airlines is referring to when they call the airline the Ethiopian and that day I thought I don't know anyone else more deserving than Robinson the Ethiopian. The story goes as follows. Robinson was born in the small Florida town of Carabelle on November 26, 1905 in the segregated south. When he was of school age, Robinson attended the premier black institution of higher learning at Tuskegee, of Alabama, graduating from Tuskegee Institute in 1923. During the late 1920s, he gained entry into one of America's leading aeronautical schools, the prestigious Curtis Wright Aeronautical School of Chicago. He was deeply inspired by the spirit of Pan-Africanism and closely embraced faith in the unity of the black people. Most of all, Robinson developed a strong affinity and respect for Africa's only independent black nation, Ethiopia. He closely identified with the increasingly precarious plight of the Ethiopian people who now confronted the march of fascist Italy. Consequently, Robinson eagerly answered Ethiopian Emperor Haile Selassie's call for Western aviation experts and technicians to aid his independent nation by strengthening its fledgling Imperial Ethiopian Air Force. In only a few months' time, he worked overtime in training roughly 70 Ethiopian pilots and ultimately in doubling the number of Ethiopian aircraft to a peak of 24 and even modified some planes to drop bombs. After the war's outbreak, Robinson's tireless effort to strengthen Ethiopia's air force only increased. He occasionally even flew the emperor to the front and continued to perform repeated reconnaissance missions to keep military leaders informed of Italian troop movements. In symbolic terms, Robinson was the only American, black or white, volunteer to faithfully serve in Ethiopia's defense from the war's beginning to its bitter end. In April 1944, after Ethiopia was liberated by the Allies, Robinson returned to Addis Ababa as aviation instructor with a U.S. Army Air Force team of African American technicians. As part of the Ethiopian Air Training Program, he trained more than 80 Ethiopian aviation cadets to serve in the resurrected Imperial Ethiopian Air Force. By doing so, he also established a core foundation for the future of aviation in Ethiopia, including not only the Air Force, but also Ethiopian Airlines. Robertson died in March 1954 in a plane crash doing exactly what he loved to do, flying over the skies of a country he defended and whose aviation industry he helped build. I believe Robinson is one of the most beautiful Ethiopians who has earned all the respect and honor bestowed on a patriot, an Ethiopian patriot. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification to get every published story. In addition, like all our social media pages and share with your friends. Thank you.